and Nightside Project. Finish the day happy, happy with Ethan Millard and Alex Carey on KSL News Radio. Got to the point now where we just we will say the comments that people, the negative comments that people will say about our show before they even happen. Uh-huh. This show hasn't even been published yet as I speak this. But already someone's but standing already, by. Somebody's ready with their, obviously you've never been around a suppressor before. Ding, ding, ding. Learn, learn to know what you're talking about before you start opening your dumb, non-gun-using mouth, you dumb liberal fool. Uh, hey, here's something we know a lot about. And then his screen name is like, I love my guns, my gun suppressors. My gun suppressors. Here's something we know a lot about. Yeah. Great moments in millennial news. What do you got, bro? Buddy McBoatface is about to make... Well, hold on. Buddy McBoatface? Bodie McBoatface. You remember Bodie McBoatface? Um, yeah, because it spurned this whole trainee McTrain face, mm, computer McComputer yeah, face, yeah, yeah. anything you could put. Yeah, so what is Bodie McBoatface? Uh, so there was this contest to name a new research, scientific research ship vessel. that the United Kingdom we'll was, call it vessel. was putting out into the ocean for scientific research. They held this, this contest... To name it, and the overwhelming favorite was Bodie McBoatface, <laughs> and which, considering you know, the UK Mick, says McBoatface is a very Scottish name. Yeah, so when you think about it, it's got good heritage for the UK. Yeah. And uh, the United Kingdom, of course, uh, they are sometimes slow to pick up on major democratic movements and elements. They decided they weren't going to go with Bodie McBoatface. Instead, they went with Sir David Attenborough. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. But they did name an unmanned science sub, Bodie McBoatface. And it's a large yellow craft, and it looks kind of well. It's it looks kind of like a torpedo with wings on it, and it uh, is designed to cruise the ocean mm-hmm. uh, with no pilot and perform scientific research. They decided to name that Bodie McBoatface. So Bodie McBoatface will work in tandem with Sir David Attenborough. The the research vessel. Her Majesty's ship. That's awesome. Her Majesty's ship, Bodie McBoatface. So did they- And uh, so Bodie McBoatface, yeah. thanks to the millennials, mm-hmm. on its way out to the ocean. Great moments in millennial news. We totally you guys used the did inter- it. We used the internet, you guys. You guys hey, did it. We use gave, your vote button on the internet. You, may, you gave a serious scientific uh, endeavor- the stupidest name that's ever <laughs> that there has ever been. Hey guys, let's go on Reddit and create a movement. I've got some memes. <laughs> I've got some dank memes I could share, <laughs> and then I think we could really get it rolling. What's and a dank of- meme? <laughs> <laughs> I Ethan, imagine. I Ethan, imagine. Get the, get the great. I moment. imagine Hold the on. dank memes are the the ones that you get off like the bottom of the chocolate cake it's pan, basically where it's like what real it is. wet down there. Yeah, it, that's it, no. It is. It is. You think of. Well, yeah, the the word dank implies like damp, rank. Well, no, like the ones that dank, the damp ones and that rank. are they're so deep and weird and kind of and you know rank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are those are what they are. Sounds but great. like, but they're also, dude. I found some dank memes on the deep web. <laughs> great you, moments yeah, exactly. in millennial news. Were well you done. on the? Were you? I only get my news feed from the dark from the dark web. <laughs>